Shrugs are always some of our most popular patterns and I think you're going to love the new one that I have to show you today. This is our new curtsy pattern by Candy Key. It's a simple shrug with an optional collar. This shrug is so lovely and it flows so beautifully. It's soft, it's elegant, it's comforting, and it makes an amazing cover up. It gives you a little bit of warmth while being soft, cuddly, and comfy. While it comes in three sizes, it's very easy to adjust. The body is just a rectangle, so you can easily adjust the length or the width as you desire. Making it is so simple. You just make a rectangle for the body, you can add a collar if you like, and then you're just gonna seam up the sleeves and you're golden. To make this, we use our soft soft and fluffy sugar fluff fingering yarn. Colors are limited edition, so please grab all you need while they're available. The yarn is a fluffy alpaca blend that's so soft next to the skin, and it has a beautiful halo. So when choosing colors, it's hard to go wrong. You can choose what we did, Linden Lace, Glenwood, and Bunny Cake, or you can try Rosalie Rhyme with Honey Lick, or Ripple Frosty or Sugar Whip, or honestly, mix and match however you like. You can download the pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet pattern. At its simplest, this pattern is just a stockinette stitch rectangle. So to work stockinette stitch flat, you just knit the first row, you purl the next row, knit the next row, purl the next row, very simple. For the collar, to get started, you're gonna find the center of your rectangle. To do that, you can just fold it in half and you're gonna place a pin at that center point. Then you're gonna work out nine inches here, nine inches here. I'm just gonna do a small amount since this is my tiny little swatch and place a pin and place a pin. Then you're gonna pick up an even number of stitches along here. And you're gonna do that from the wrong side. So this is what the wrong side looks like. You can take that middle pin out and just go ahead and grab your yarn. And you're actually gonna be holding three strands together for this part. And I like to get started with a crochet hook. There's your first loop. Place that onto your needle and you can continue to use the crochet hook if you like or you can just use your knitting needle and pick up stitches like this so go ahead and pick up an even number of stitches until you reach your other pin and here you have all your little stitches picked up and ready to be knit. For row one, we're gonna go ahead and turn. Now the right side is facing us and we're just gonna knit one, purl one, all the way across. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And I am giving away a full set of this yarn base today. So if you would love to win that, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and go ahead and comment below and let me know if you have ever made a shrug before purl, knit, and purl. For row two, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a knit two together. This is gonna taper in the edges a little bit. Then you're gonna repeat across your row, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and continue repeating that until you have two stitches left. Knit, purl, and when you have two stitches, just go ahead and knit those two together. For row three, we'll turn and we're gonna start with a purl two together. So bring your yarn to the front and purl those next two stitches together. Then you're gonna repeat across, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. We're essentially creating ribbing. Purl, knit, purl, knit. And when you have two stitches left, go ahead and purl those final two stitches together. For rows four through 13, you're just gonna repeat rows two and three. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into row 14. So for rows 14 through 25, you're just gonna continue on in your established ribbed pattern. So knit, purl, knit, purl. You just wanna make sure you're knitting the Vs and you're purling the ones that have the little bumps and you'll be golden. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl and just continue on making sure you're knitting the V's and purling the bumps. And when you've completed all your rows, you're just gonna bind off using your preferred bind off method.
So here's our adorable little collar and you can see the edges swoop in creating a nice shape. To seam up your sleeves, go ahead and thread the same color onto a darning needle. I'm using some different colored scrap yarn today so you can see it a little more easily. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your sides and you're gonna insert your darning needle under the first two legs of that first stitch on the one side and then jump over here to this other side and do the same thing. Grab those first two legs. And then you're gonna jump back over to this side and where your yarn is coming up out of is where your needle will go down into. And then grab the next two legs. Jump back down to this side, same thing. Where your yarn is coming out of, insert your needle down into and grab the next two legs. And you're just gonna continue doing that for however long you would like your sleeves to be seamed up. And when you've worked as many as you like, you can actually pull the ends to tighten that up. Another option with this pattern, once you're all finished, is to add single crochets for a border along the bottom. So here's what we have so far. We've got our sleeve seamed up and our collar. If you do want to add the bottom single crochet edging, you're gonna have the right side facing. You're gonna take a crochet hook and attach your yarn to the next stitch past your sleeve. Go ahead and grab your yarn. You're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna single crochet in all of the stitches across till you get to the other sleeve. When you do reach the other side, you're just gonna go ahead and turn, and I'm gonna chain one, and then you're just gonna single crochet in each single crochet back across. Then when you get to the end, just go ahead and cut your yarn and weave in your ends. So there you have it, a beautiful shrug to keep you cozy during all seasons. If you would love all of the details for the cast on number, the color changes, etc., all of the details are in the pattern PDF for you at expressionfiberarts.com. And if you do love shrugs, be sure to check out our other knit and crochet shrug pattern. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing week and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.